Welcome to Augusta's Luscious. We're a little vegan chocolate shop in upstate New York, in New Paltz, New York. And we make everything by hand from scratch here. Everything's all organic and fair trade and uh, really delicious. And what are you making today? Today we're making all kinds of truffles. We have double chocolate truffles, chipotle caramelized onion truffles, classic truffles, rosemary, sea salt caramels, caramels. We have a lot going on today right now, actually. Yes. Busy day, Saturday. I love the process of making things with chocolate. Um, I'm not the hugest chocolate eater, even though I love so many of the things that we make, but um, I just really love the, I think especially as a vegan food, the creaminess and the richness of chocolate is really kind of rare um, within the, the vegan ingredient world. It's just such a like decadent, wonderful thing. And I also really love that chocolate has such an opportunity. I feel like I started out life as like an animal rights activist kind of person and chocolate has such an opportunity to be a really kind of almost activist kind of product because there's so much politics around it and there's so much terrible chocolate out there in the world in terms of um, child slaves and people not being treated well who pick the cacao beans and non-organic chocolate and everything like that so I think it's a really good opportunity to kind of insert some of my own personal politics into my job and do something that I love to do so I'm making chipotle caramelized onion truffles. One of the weirdest and most awesome things that we make. It's um, a chipotle chili powder, which is kind of like medium spicy. And then it's local caramelized onions from, I think these are from Second Wind CSA, which is a really awesome local farm run by two of our friends. Actually, Aaron, who was just here, who uh, makes our signs and grows mushrooms, came up with the idea for our, our toffee. I wanted to tell people kind of subtly that it was kind of like a heath bar. So he came up with heathen toffee, which is perfect for a bunch of anarchists making chocolates. And um, then a friend of mine came up with tot chocolate for like sweeter kind of hot chocolate for kids, which was brilliant. Tara, amazing. So yeah, all, pretty much everyone. And I really love coming up with different flavors and work with really great people here who are always kind of brainstorming amazing flavor combinations and I also really like it because it's kind of neat and tidy. I used to have a whole other business doing um, like a vegan meal delivery service for people but then um, I don't know I started the chocolate started becoming kind of more of a bigger business and I realized that I actually had two kind of full-time jobs so I had to uh, pick one and chocolate one out so then we um, in March we bought this building and started renovating it and made a little chocolate shop and I think in the beginning we thought that it would just be like a little you know we'd mainly do mail order and then if people happen to wander in and buy a chocolate here and there it'd be fine but that is not what has happened what has happened is that people in New Paltz are really happy to have a chocolate shop in their town and they don't even know it's vegan it's a big secret um, and it's pretty awesome. It's really lovely being a little neighborhood chocolatier. Actually, Jacob and I started the chocolate business together in 2003 <laughs> because we wanted to make truffles for our uh, friends for the holidays, which is weird because we don't really celebrate the holidays, but truffles was fun. And then um, we just started doing it as a little business because everyone loved it. But then Jacob couldn't hack it and sold his half of the business to me for a kiss. Now it's my business, but now he's working for free. It's great.